All right, guys, welcome to part nine of my After Effects course. Today, I'm going to show you how to modify and add shortcuts in After Effects. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Coins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you watching this tutorial. So this is part nine of my After Effects course. I do recommend you watch the videos in the course so far, which you can find here just so that you're at the same place as everyone else. But if you are just looking to find out how to do shortcuts in After Effects, then this video will also work for you. So the last video I did, we did a complete project from start to finish. You can find that here. Today, we're gonna to have a look at shortcuts. Now, I could have made this video earlier on in the course, but I think now that we've had a chance to work our way around the workspaces and see how shortcuts work and could benefit your projects, now is a good time to look at how to add and modify shortcuts. So let's jump into After Effects and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. The first thing we wanna do is bring up the shortcut interface. And the way you do that is you go to Edit and Keyboard Shortcuts. Okay, it'll be a slightly different command on a Mac. Not 100% sure what it is, but it will be where you find the preferences and then it'll bring up the keyboard shortcut option. So now we're in keyboard shortcuts and this is what it looks like. It's all color coded. So the ones in purple and the ones in gray and green have got shortcuts assigned to them. And the different colors relate to the different commands that are attached to these shortcuts. So the actual interface itself should relate to the keyboard that you're using. So I've got a keyboard that looks like this. I've got the numeric keypad on the right hand side. You may have a keyboard that doesn't have that numeric keypad and therefore your interface will look slightly different you'll have slightly different shortcuts. This should relate to the keyboard that you're using. As you can see here, these are all the keys that have shortcuts assigned to the keys as they are. Now obviously for shortcuts, you can also use Shift, Control and Alt to give you another shortcut. So if you click on Shift, then it will bring up all the shortcuts that have Shift and then a key as the shortcut. Okay, if you want to look at anything that has Shift, Control, then you click on shift, click on control, and that will bring up any shortcuts that have shift control and then the key as the shortcut. And then if you click on alt, that will show you all the ones with shift control, alt key. If you want to know the ones with shift and control or shift and alt, you just choose the keys that you want to see the shortcuts for, okay? Now, if you want to see all the shortcuts that are assigned to a certain key, then you just click on that key. And then on the right hand side, you can see all the shortcuts that are attached to that key. You can see that with no shift control or alt, then you've just got the go to the latest point of selected layers, shows you what the shortcut is with the control. Control alt has this shortcut. Alt and shift don't have any shortcuts assigned to this key as yet. Click on each key and you can see what shortcuts are assigned to that key. On the left, you've got a list of every command and what shortcut is attached to that command, okay? And you will find commands, if we go into effect, if we go into file, you will find commands that don't have a shortcut attached, like Open Team Project has no shortcut attached as yet. So you can see which commands have shortcuts and what the shortcuts are. Now, if you've got a particular command that you're looking for, let's say center layer, then you just put it in this search bar and it will just bring up center layer in view, center and anchor point in layer. So anything with center layer, it will bring it up underneath and you can find out what shortcuts attached, if it has got shortcuts attached, so that you can attach a shortcut if it hasn't got one already. Okay, so it's a really easy way to find what you're looking for. Okay, so let's just get rid of that for now. If we go up to the top and commands, we'll see this drop down. So application will show you all commands and their shortcuts. If you've got specific commands you're looking for, say layer panel, then you just click on that and it will just show you the commands for the layer panel. Go back to application and again, it will show you all the commands and their shortcuts. So within this, you can narrow down your commands. Okay, let's leave it on application for now so we can see all of them. So let's say we want to assign a new shortcut. Let's go to file and open team project because we saw that that one didn't have 
a shortcut aside. Now the obvious key for Open Team Project would be O. So if we click on O, then we can see all the shortcuts that are already attached to O. And we can see that Alt O has no shortcut attached. So we can use that one. And then all we would do is to go to Open Team Project, click next to it, and we would just hold down Alt and O. Okay? And then it's created a shortcut for Open Team Project. So if we now go to O, you can see next to Alt O, we've got Open Team Project. So we've now added our new shortcut. If you wanted to change any shortcuts for any reason, like say your keyboard didn't have home or you just didn't like the way that that shortcut worked, you wanted it in a different configuration, then all you would do is say we want to change Open Project, we go to Open Project, we click next to it, we type in what we wanted it to be. So let's just say F5. Okay, and now it's assigned Open Project to F5. And we just delete Control O. Now I'm not going to do that on this occasion, but that's how you would do it. So really simple to do. Now, we've got our new presets. We've assigned some new shortcuts. We want to save our presets. It's really simple to do. So we're going to go to Keyboard Layout Preset. We're going to go to Save As. We're just going to type in Neil Keys. Okay. And now that has saved that preset. At some point you may think, I, I want to refer to the default shortcuts. Really easy to do. We just go to this keyboard layout preset and we'll find After Effects default. And that'll just take you back to the default layout. And then if you want to switch back to Neil Keys, you just choose Neil Keys from the keyboard layout preset. So that's how you'd modify and set up new shortcuts in After Effects. So that's it for this one. Really hope you found it useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Let me know how you're getting on with the course. Please do leave me some feedback. It's always good to know how you guys are finding the course so that as we go forward, I know which content you like best and how you like it delivered. So please do leave me a comment below. I read and reply to every comment and it'll be really appreciated if you could let me know how you're getting on. If you're not already, please do consider subscribing to my channel, releasing content twice a week at the moment, audio and visual gear reviews, editing tutorials, drone tutorials, got some new drone lap presets coming out, which is quite exciting. If you're already subscribed to the channel, as always, appreciate you guys. Just make sure that your notifications are switched on so I can let you know when new content comes out. So that's it for part nine of my After Effects course, and I'll see you in part 10.